Hello, and welcome to another video by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. My name is Anthony, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at running a message trace in Exchange Online. And a message trace is what allows us to track how emails flow through Exchange. So here, I'm in the Exchange Admin Center, which you can get to by navigating to admin.exchange.microsoft.com. Or if you have the Microsoft 365 Admin Center already bookmarked, uh, you can go there and you get an option for Exchange on the left-hand side underneath Admin Centers. So back in Exchange Admin Center, we're going to expand Millflow and select Message Trace. And on the Message Trace window, we have a list of pre-built reports that we can run. So for example, if I want to see all failed messages for the last seven days, I can click on it and it opens up the new Message Trace window. And here, you'll notice that it has pre-selected a date range of the last seven days and a delivery status of failed. So I'm going to click on search and it's going to take me to the results window and there's no data available. So that means that there are no messages that have failed in the last seven days. That's good. So we'll go back to message trace by clicking on the option here. And we can also see if there are any quarantine messages, for example, by clicking on the all quarantine messages option. And you notice again, it's pre-selected seven days and selected delivery status to quarantined. So I'm going to click on search. Ah, so we do have one that was quarantined in the last seven days. And judging by the subject, uh, it is likely spam. And so if we navigate back to message trace by clicking on the message trace button, we can create our own trace. So if we click on start a trace here, it opens up the same window, but with the default values. So it's gonna find all senders, all recipients in the last two days with all delivery states in all directions. And we can actually scroll down here uh, and see some additional information like we can specify by IP address. And if we wanna be sent a, a CSV report, we can do that as well. So let's run through an example. So let's say that we want to find all emails that were sent from gmail.com. So we can do that by typing in star at gmail.com. And we'll get a suggested result here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. There we go. And if we want to expand the time range beyond 10 days, you notice we get a warning here. So if you need to search more than the last 10 days, you'll have to select a downloadable CSV. So if I've got 15 days here selected as an example, if I scroll down to the bottom, it's going to say that you can only, uh, the only way to do this is with a downloadable CSV. So I'm actually going to slide that back. We'll do one week like the previous ones. And if I scroll down, we want to see all delivery statuses and all directions. Now, the only way that Gmail is coming to us is inbound, but if we select the inbound option, you notice that it, again, we only have the option to download the CSV. I wanna see it instantly here in the portal, so I'm gonna select all, there we go. And if I click on search, it's gonna take me to the message search results. And you can see that in the last uh, seven days, uh, this demo tenant has received five different emails from gmail.com. Let's go back to message trace. We'll run one more. So if we want to start a trace and look at emails that were sent to our distribution group, they show up a little different. So in the recipients here, I'm going to put my test distribution group here and I'm going to leave everything else to default. I want to see all the emails that were sent to and from this distribution group. So I'll click on search. And here in the results, you notice the status is expanded. So if we click on this email and we scroll down, there's a message events option here. I'm going to go ahead and expand this and then scroll down again. And you can see that there are several steps when an email is sent to a distribution group. The message is received, it is submitted, and the expand is specifically what I'm what I want to take a look at here. So if I expand the expand DL, every time a message is sent to a distribution list, you will get this step where it expands it uh, and what the, what that's doing is is it's looking for all members of that distribution list. In exchange terms, that's called expanding the distribution list. So if you ever see an email with that status of expanded, that's all that's referring to. And if you do have any problems running message traces in exchange, you know, feel free to reach out to us because we are your number one software dudes. Thank you for watching.